It's a little man. Oh, hello. I'm Idaho Jones. Archaeologist. I'm digging up artifacts from these ancient burial grounds of the Washahakalugi. Shabimanama. Rah. So you're interested in archaeology. Well, it might not be all you think it is. I mean, we don't go around fighting Nazis. That would just be inaccurate. Archaeology is the study of historic or prehistoric peoples and their cultures. Archaeologists uncover things like ruins and old tools. But you see, we only deal with the human past. We don't deal with things like dinosaurs and the giant insects. Like, ah! That's paleontology, and it's not as exciting as you might think it is. Archaeology is way more exciting. Now, to uncover all of these ruins and artifacts and whatnot, archaeologists use many tools. One is our hat. Yep, they all need a hat. The most stylish is the round, rimmy hat. That's what I call it, because I don't know the proper name. You see, it protects us from the sun that we're out in, and it's also really styling. So, need a hat. We also use trowels, you know, like people use to lay brick, except we use them to dig up patches of earth. Ah, gotcha, earth. you just been dug up. We also have our brushes to gently remove sand and dirt from the artifacts. Mine's a little over-exaggerated, but it works nonetheless. Picks are great for getting through thicker earth and rock. Just like, ah. Uh. You gotta be gentle with these things, though, because you might don't want to break an artifact that's concealed beneath, you know? Be careful with those picks. You'll also need other things like, you know, work gloves and sunscreen and other protective things like that. And a tape measurer to measure your artifacts. But a really, really super important thing that you absolutely must have. Okay, other pocket. Other pockets, all right. That's not embarrassing at all. Is your dig journal. You need one of these to write down where you're digging, what you found, where you found it, the date when you found it, and all kinds of other stuff. You also need to put drawings in your journal. See, like, like that. It's a little wooden man I found, but, you know, my drawing kind of looks like an alien head. So, whatevs. Drawing a map of, you know, your dig site's very important. That way you can get around, and you can also mark where you found certain things. Then you can draw those certain things on other sheets in your little journal. <gasps> a boss from the Ming Dynasty! Wait a second. How did this get in America? <gasps> Evidence of overseas trading? Now, before you start your digging, you need to get this one concept into your mind. Archaeologists are not treasure hunters. We don't get out here to get rich. We get out here to get smart, get knowledge, get... knowledge and share it with the world, so that we know more about our past and why we're the way we are today. I really have no idea what this is. But before you start digging, you also need permission to do so. You don't want to just show up at a site and then have cops show up and arrest you for trespassing. Plus, you could also be getting into some place that's, you know, maybe sacred or something. Shouldn't be there. So you get permission to dig. You'll also need funding from something like a university or a museum. Usually a university. Because those are the things that spread knowledge. You know, university teach their students and museums teach everybody else. And I'm sure they'll be happy to take some of the artifacts off your hands. You have to work slowly to make sure that you don't break or miss anything on the dig site. 
I mean, look at this. See this? It's a giant wooden man. Oh, well, it's not that giant, but it's giant compared to the other wooden men I found. And I would never have found this if I didn't spend three days digging around one little dirt pile that everyone else thought was just a little dirt pile. But I found him, and he's, he's very important, trust me. The very important dirt-covered wooden man. Made of wood. And after the dig, you have to publish your findings. I mean, if I didn't tell anyone that I found this ancient musical instrument, would it be of any relevance? No. It won't make any difference if you don't tell. If you don't tell someone about it. See? It's just... Got to tell people. Yeah, that's pretty much the most important part. The telling people. So, uh, well, if you want to get into archaeology, like, see some of the artifacts, like the ones I found here, like, uh, the Ming base, the, uh, this thing, and the little wooden men, you can, I don't know, visit your library, check out some books, or, uh, you can go to museums, or local dig sites, there's bound to be artifacts there. So just keep digging, and... Have fun. That's that's another big part of archaeology is having fun with your friends. So, <gasps> sword. Awesome. Yeah, the whole friends thing, and uh, publishing your findings. Those are the important things. Now get out there and do some digging. This is when ancient DJs sounded like. <laughs>